Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you guys how to make the best carnitas in an instant pot. In case you guys want to know how to make this super easy and delicious recipe, just stay tuned and I'll show you how. Alrighty guys, so let's get started with our ingredients. So for this recipe we're going to need 4 pounds of pork butt, 12 ounces of coke, the juice of 4 oranges, the juice of 3 limes, 8 garlic cloves, a quarter of a small white onion, 2 bay leaves, 2 teaspoons of oregano, 1 teaspoon of thyme, a half a teaspoon of whole cumin, quarter teaspoon of rosemary, salt, and black pepper. So these are ingredients, now let's get started. All right guys, so first you wanna make sure that your meat is at room temperature, and you're also going to pat it dry. All right, so once our meat is ready, now we're going to cut into big chunks. All right, you can remove some of the fat that's going to be all optional. All right, so once we have our meat, now we're just going to season it with salt and black pepper. All right, so once our meat is well seasoned, we're going to set it to the side and work on our mixture. All right, so in our blender, we're going to crush all of our spices along with one bay leaf. And of course, you can use a mocajete for this as well. All right, so once our spices are crushed, we're going to add our garlic cloves, our piece of onion, our lemon juice, and our orange juice. So mix it all together again. All right, so once we have everything combined, now we're going to set it to the side and work on our meat. All right, so we're going to sear our meat using our Instant Pot. So we're going to set our Instant Pot to saute and make sure that it's on the high setting. All right, so we're going to add two tablespoons of olive oil. And once our Instant Pot is ready, we could begin searing our meat. All right, so once our Instant Pot reads hot, now we are ready to begin searing. So we're going to sear our meat for one minute each side until all of our meat is nice and browned. All right, so after a minute, flip the meat over. And let that cook for another minute. All right, so after another minute, flip it over the other side. And repeat the process. All right, so once our meat is nice and browned all around, we're going to remove it from the Instant Pot. We're going to add a little bit more olive oil and repeat the same process to the remaining of our meat. So once our meat is all nice and brown, now we're going to turn off our Instant Pot. So press the cancel button. Now we're going to return all of our meat. And to that we're going to add our mixture. I'm going to transfer my coke into my blender just so I can get the remaining mixture. And I'll pour it on your carnita. Make sure you move it around so everything is nice and even. Okay, so we're going to add the other bay leaf. All right, so we're going to close our Instant Pot. Okay, so now we're going to cook our meat. Make sure you have it set on high for 45 minutes. And just make sure that your valve is set on ceiling. All right guys, so while we wait for our meat, we're going to make our salsa. So we're going to roast two tomatoes, two tomatillos, two chiles jalapeños, two chiles serranos, two garlic cloves, and a quarter of a white onion. And of course, it's all going to depend on how spicy or, you know, if you don't want your salsa to be spicy, just substitute the chile serrano for more jalapeño. And for our chile de árbol, we're just going to soak them in one cup of hot water. All right, so once everything's fully roasted, now we're just going to turn it off and allow them to cool down. Alrighty guys, so once our meat is done, we're going to give it 20 minutes for our Instant Pot to cool down by itself. 
All right, guys, so while we wait for our meat, we can make our salsa. So in our mocajete, we're going to uh, smash our two garlic cloves. All right, so after our garlic cloves are nice and smashed, we're going to add our chile de arbol. So now we're just going to smash them. All right, so once our chiles de arbol are smashed, we're going to add our chiles serranos and smash them. The jalapenos, smash them. All right, so throw in your onion and smash them. So now we can throw in our tomatoes and smash them as well. Along with the tomatillos. All right, so once everything is nice and smashed, now we're going to season it with some salt. And that's going to be up to your liking. And we're going to add a little bit of cilantro. Now just mix it, taste it. Alrighty, and just set it to the side. All right, so at this point, we're also going to turn on our broiler. Okay, so at the 20 minute mark, we're going to relieve the steam from our instant pot. So just be careful. All right, so once all of the steam has been relieved from the instant pot, we're going to open it. And let me tell you that it smells delicious and look how tender our meat is. So now we're going to transfer our meat into our cast iron skillet. So pretty. Look at that. Now, if you don't want to put it in the oven, then that's fine. You can leave it here. Let me tell you, that's going to be super delicious as well. But we're going to get a little bit of the crust on our meat. All right, so just make sure that you can eat this, cover your skillet. And now we're going to grab a little bit of our broth. So pour it on your carnitas. And now we're going to stick it in our broiler for five minutes. All right, so just give it five minutes. All right, so after five minutes, this is what our carnitas should look like. Look how pretty they look. And they're still juicy. So now we are ready to enjoy our delicious carnitas. And they're crispy on the outside and super juicy and tender in the inside. So now we are ready to make taco, burritos, bowls, whatever, however you wanna serve your carnitas. Um, but now they're ready. All right, so since I'm going to be serving my carnitas and tacos, I'm going to prepare my tortillas. All right, so I'm going to lightly dip my tortilla into the fat. So just lay it like that. And then transfer it into your frying pan. And I have it set on medium high heat. And then we're just going to give it a couple minutes and then we can make our tacos. All right, so after a minute, we're going to flip our tortilla over and let that cook for another minute. All right, so after another minute, our tortillas are ready. And now we can use the same um, fat so we can fry three more tortillas. Okay, and now we're ready to make our tacos. Just grab your carnita. And of course, try it for salt. I mean, for me, this is perfect. It's delicious every time. All right, guys, so once we have our tacos ready, now we are ready for the fun part. Now, of course, you can drizzle some lemon juice, but I made some um, tom tomatillo salsa. So the tomatillo is a little bit sour, as you know. So I'm just going to add a little bit of that. All right, so I'm going to add some cilantro and onion and our delicious salsa de mocajete. So now we are ready to enjoy our delicious tacos de carnita. Alrighty guys, and now for the best part, the taste test. I am so ready. Let me tell you that my house smells delicious. Um, and who doesn't like tacos de carnitas? So cheers. Mmm. Mm. Mm hmm. Seriously, it's super delicious. The carnitas are so tender, and you know, they still have a little layer of crispiness. The salsa is perfect with the tacos. Seriously, the best. Alrighty guys, and there you have it, how I make some delicious carnitas in an instant pot. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video, and if you did, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, and if you recreate this recipe, please don't forget to tag me in any of my social medias. And if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button so you guys can be part of our family. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye.